It's been so lonely without Maddie around. I have nobody to talk comics with, and I have nobody to talk Jar Jar with. Man, I wish he just hadn't gone back to Rhode Island. We could have watched episode one another 22 times. I love the fact that I can collect these little action figures and these little toys to remember my favorite Star Wars character by, just like I have one of one of my closest friends. <laughs> bad for me, sir. Where's Ghost Avengers? He's no good to me, dead. Where's Ghost Avengers? Spit up theme for spit up times. Hi guys, it's me, it's Dave. Okay, deep breath. Okay, I shouldn't even be shooting this video, but I'm coming to you live on Wednesday. Where's Ghost Wednesday? The evening of my weekly claim sale. And, uh, oh, wow. You know, sometimes people say you got to take your shots where you find them. Uh, Eminem says you only get one shot. Wayne Gretzky says uh, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Uh, shot, 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 shot. I bought a collection today. Long story short, found it on the internet and scrambled quickly, pulled my car over to message this guy and start a conversation with him. And uh, I got first crack at it. He said he wanted in the ballpark of $5,000. I got it down to $4,000 by removing one book. And uh, let's just dive right in. I'll show you what I got. And you you guys can uh, write down below. I mean, I know I got a good deal. I valued this collection around $10,000. But that was before I actually saw the books. So it's clearly this guy was buying good books. But he, he didn't have the right boxes for him. So... I got my own short box here, so I'm going to take the raw stuff and put it into the short box as I go through it. But let's go through the graded books first. I don't know much about this book. Uh, not something I would ever put on my radar, but this is a Clayton Crane variant Avengers number one, signed and slabbed 9.6. So I had to take out, he had two CGC Stan Lee signed books. The one I took out was a Spider-Man Todd McFarlane run, CGC 9.8, yellow label Stan Lee. But I still got this Star Wars number one, nine six, Ross variant cover, and it is CGC signed by Stan Lee. So one CGC Stan Lee signature, that's fine. How about this? This is a good one to have down the pipeline. Astonishing Ant-Man, this is Marvel premiere. Astonishing Ant-Man number 47, the first appearance of Scott Lang as Ant-Man and the origin of Scott Lang. And it's signed in black right there by Bob Layton. Another fun one, Spider-Man, Amazing Spider-Man 800, Matt Damasi signed Shattered Variant, and it's CGC Slab 9.8. So, little Todd homage, and it's actually double signed. So it's signed on the back by Matt, and it's signed on the front. So, two sigs, one price. Here's one I don't care much about, but I think this is going to be a good one to have. Also, Spider-Man Deadpool, number 198, signed by Ed McGinnis, artist, and Mark Morales. Right there, CGC 9.8. Here's another one that's kind of laughable. I'll be able to sell it. Venom, Lethal Protector number one, 9.8, CGC. This one's kind of a novelty one. X-Men number one, Jim Lee. That's the uh, greatest selling Marvel comic of all time. And that is a 9.8. Hawkeye number one, this is the first Hawkeye solo story. And the first meeting of Mockingbird and Hawkeye. And that's a 9.8. Too bad I didn't have that about four months ago. Another one that I think has some room to grow. This is Miss Marvel number one, featuring the first appearance of Carol Danvers as Miss Marvel. And that's an 8.5. Two that I actually am happy that I got. First is a Wolverine number one. This is the ongoing series, the first volume of Wolverine. That is a 9.2. And a 9.4. Wolverine Limited Series. This is the first solo title of Wolverine. Frank Miller, Chris Claremont, 9-4. And uh, honestly, with the impending news that they're going to start having the mutants in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, those are two great books to have. But you want to talk about a great book that I've actually been looking for a 9-8 on this just to have. Killing Joke. Not much to be said about this that you don't already know. Alan Moore, Brian Bolland. This is a 9.8. This is a perfect copy. 
Speaking of perfect things, Remy Lebo, the Cajun Supreme Mutant. I don't know what voice this is. Gamut number one, this is a for you, Shady, my friend. Uh, Gamut number one, the first solo series of Gamut. This is a 9 8. Suicide Squad number one, this is uh, from the new 52. Harley Quinn. I don't even know if this is a variant, but this is just a, uh, as a throw in. One I do know. Simpsons number one. Dow! Oh! Homage to the Fantastic Four number one. 9 8 on that. One I uh, wanted for a while. I might have to get this reholdered. It is kind of scratched up, but. Uh, Avengers No Surrender, number 684. This is kind of the unofficial first appearance of Immortal Hulk. Uh, it's when he kind of discovers that he can't die with a uh, not exactly Alex Ross cover. Just closing out the slabs. Uh, this is another one I don't know much about, nor do I care about, but Birds of Prey, number 198, new 52. Uh, really fun one, though. This is uh, Spider-Gwen, number one. Phantom variant, uh, homage to Todd McFarlane's Amazing Spider-Man 300. This is a 9-8 CBCS. And finally, a classic, one that people are kind of faded out on because they didn't like the movie, but this is an Eternals number one. 9-2, Jack Kirby. Come on, it's Jack Kirby. How could you ever not love it? How great. So moving along, the raw books. So this is one of those collections where the, the slab books don't really match the potential of the raw books. Uh, I might skip over some of it because, like, who gives a shit about seeing any more X-Force number one copies? Uh, I sure as hell don't. I have so many of those. It's the whole set and includes the Deadpool card. Incredible Hulk number 102. This is when uh, Tales to Astonish becomes Incredible Hulk. So Incredible Hulk... Premieres uh, in Incredible Hulk 1. It goes six issues. It gets canceled. They bring Hulk back in Tales to Astonish. He gets popular enough that this becomes the first Hulk book in the second volume. Invincible Iron Man number one. The first Invincible Iron Man solo title. Coming from Tales of Suspense and then getting his own title. This is a beautiful book. Presents really well. I'd say it's a mid-grade. So that's going to... Uh, be one of the best books that i found in this this collection this isn't the first appearance of hercules but goddamn if it isn't the most iconic cover of hercules and thor thor number 126 uh by the time you see this i probably will have sold this it's hot right now we just got the trailer for thor love and thunder and hercules is most likely going to be in it even though the casting was not announced of who's playing him also another premiere uh book in this lot New Mutants 98, got one a couple weeks ago at a garage sale. This is my second copy, and actually it's going to be, by the time you watch this, my third, because I have another one on the way. First appearance of Deadpool. Lots of great raw books. This is probably a mid-grade, but this is a Marvel Special Edition, The Hands of Shang-Chi, Master of Kung Fu, first appearance of Shang-Chi. Uh, I said it wrong the first time, Shang-Chi. This is Vision and Scarlet Witch. One through four, the first solo series featuring them. I think there is a first appearance in here, but these look to be very, very high grade. So that's not a bad thing to get books that will eventually, they'll eventually become hot again. The Eternals, uh, just some more Eternal stuff. Once again, stuff that this guy bought, probably thought was going to be really hot and, and was. Wow. This is a very high grade copy of the original Eternals number two. And a couple more of those books, just a little chunk. Another one of those kind of laughable books, Punisher War Zone number one. This is a Star Wars number one, the reprint edition. And that's okay. The reason why that's okay is because there's a Star Wars number one, first print. You saw the one book signed by Stan Lee before in the CGC slab. And here's a Black Panther True Believers number one, signed by Stan Lee probably towards the end of his life. Uh, but it does come with the matching certificate of authenticity mixed with the hologram. Putting this as an original Stan Lee signature. Two Stan Lee signatures in the slot overall. Not a bad deal. Harley Quinn number one. That's 2000. So this is pre New 52. Might be a good book. Guardians of the Galaxy number one. Number two. And it looks like a number three. And a number four. So that's cool. Should be a nice little chunk to have. Also in the laughable category to 
Young Blood number ones. And I love Young Blood. This I'm really stoked about. Transformers number one. First appearance of Transformers in comics. Also, a cover from William the Sangster Sankovich. Bill Sankovich Sankovich. Bill Sankovich Sankovich Sankovich. Also, classic, classic book. A Watchman number one. Uh, have a copy. But if this turns out to be in better condition, this goes in the PC, as the kids say. Uh, another Hawkeye number one first first solo series. This one I'm also super stoked on. I have a copy, but this looks like it might be better. Uh, Hellboy number one, Seed of Destruction, the first ongoing Hellboy series. Here's one that I know, and I read this when it came out. Um, looks like it's got some marks on it, but a uh, Walking Dead 100. I believe this is the first appearance of Negan, uh, so big for that. Uh, here's a couple I didn't look up, but by the time I will have posted this, I will know what it is. A very beautiful copy of Justice League number 22. Could be a first appearance, could just be a really nice Silver Age book. And then a Justice League number 14. And this could also be maybe the first appearance of the Atom Bomb, uh, or Adam, Captain Adam in the Silver Age. Don't know. But I'll look it up. Iron Fist number 14, first appearance of Sabretooth, right there on the cover. This is a new stand, but it's 1977. Mid grade, but still first Sabretooth. Joker number one, the first solo series of the Clown Prince of Gotham. Woo! Sorry, the Clown Prince of Crime, but whatever. And I'm going to say this is low to mid grade, but when you see Todd, you accept Todd right into your heart. Amazing Spider-Man number 300, first appearance of Venom. Uh, once again, low low mid-grade. Gonna be selling that tonight. It's gonna be an auction. Uh, Okie day. Well, two copies of this ain't half bad. This is the first appearance of Red Hulk, I believe. Hulk number one. Thunderbolt Ross. And then it's just a whole run of that. So two, three, uh, number four, five, number six. And number seven variant. Uh, two copies of Alpha Flight number one, the Canadian Muties. Uh, another one I'm stoked on getting two copies of, Black Panther number one from Jack Kirby. First solo Black Panther series. Uh-oh. <coughs> then a Black Panther number three. Sometimes you're just, you get so comic crazy, you see triple. Triple Moon Knight number ones. The first solo Moon Knight book. From our friend, William the Sangster. New Mutants number one, Bob McCloud cover, but then um, Sankovich takes over. Shazam! Number one. So these are all mixed grades, but there are some books in here that are super high grade, and then there's some that are uh, low grade. I did get a nice little run of Captain America. Captain America 100, they bring Captain America back, Jack Kirby. And uh, so, nice little run of that. 103, 104, one of my favorite covers, 109, 115, early Falcon appearances, but 118 and 119. I'm not actually sure when the first Falcon is, but it's it's somewhere within these issues. Maybe 116 or 17. Uh, Remy Lebo, X-Men 266, newsstand. This is the... Uh, the disputed first appearance of Gambit. It is surely the first cover of Gambit. This was intended to come out before X-Men Annual 14 or 15 or whichever it is. But this is really the one everybody wants because it's the cover. Got a couple of Defender books. Defenders number one. Nice. Defenders number two. Nice. Secret Wars number eight. Arguably the most popular black suit Spider-Man this was always the, the top book to get when it came to the first appearance of the, of the black costume. Even though Amazing Spider-Man 252 is the first one, this one gets all the love because it's such a huge crossover. Uh, Secret Wars was the first really big Marvel crossover. So I need to look at this because there's what seems like, yeah, it looks like some ink right here on the corner box, as you can see. Um, I can't tell if that's marker or maybe something in the printing, but... Unfortunately, it brings the value down. Uh, so I'll probably, uh, I have a couple copies of this. So, you know, can't win them all. Uh, an Amazing Spider-Man number 361. First appearance of Carnage in a newsstand. Also going out tonight because I have like six of those. Uh, another Amazing Spider-Man number 800. This is the black 
Matt DeMasi Shattered Variant, an homage to ASM 300. As they would call this a lava fire banger, this is X-Men number six, the first meeting of Namor and the X-Men, and also when you find out that Namor is a mutant. Two copies of X-Men 100, a battle between the classic X-Men lineup and the new X-Men lineup, giant size X-Men team. So this would be like the 10th appearance of Wolverine or something like that. Pair of huge books that will probably go, uh, one will go up for auction tonight. Doctor Strange number 169, that's two copies. And this is the uh, first title with Doctor Strange. This is what Strange Tales became. Uh, so once uh, Strange Tales 168, and then you go right into Doctor Strange, which would be Strange Tales 169, but not anymore. So let's sell one of those tonight. And then you've got Doctor Strange number one. This is the first uh, ongoing series from Doctor Strange that starts at a number one. So maybe they consider this volume two. Uh, I believe this is another big first appearance. I'm not sure what. Right on the heels of the most popular trailer right now in the Marvel Universe, you've got Thor number one. First appearance of Jane Foster as Thor on the cover, and I guess it's considered a cameo. Uh, either way, this is the hot book. Justice League number one from the 90s. Nothing. Does nothing for me. I don't know the significance of this book, but it's pretty dope, this cover. Aquaman number five. Cool killer whale cover. Ooh. Two Tales of Suspense, number 69. That's the first appearance of the Titanium Man. Big chunk of Avengers and some big books in here. So you've got Avengers number 11. So that's the first meeting of Spider-Man and Avengers, except apparently that's a robot. Uh, Avengers number 24. Not sure what the key is on this, but early Avengers doesn't really matter. Uh, Avengers number 28, or first appearance of Goliath. Avengers number 40 with the Submariner. Avengers number 44, and then we get Avengers number 47, a little bit of a low grade copy, but that's the first appearance of Dane Whitman. And I didn't say Dame, I said Dane Whitman, who would go on to appear in the next issue as the Black Knight. Oh my God, it's got a subfold, a subscription fold, but God damn, that's a clean copy. And then we get number 50 and Avengers number 53, two copies. Look real nice, too. I'm uh, not sure what the key is on this, but I'll probably flash it on the screen. And then you get this great yellow cover, uh, Avengers number 87, The Origin of T'Challa, The Black Panther. And Avengers number 100, classic cover. Also feel like there's a big, uh, big reason why this cover is so heralded. It says it's a fine, very fine on back, but this looks to me like more like a very fine, very fine plus. We're gonna take a look at this live. It's got what looks like a little bit of a subfold on it. I don't know, I don't see this being any lower than a very fine. And finally, I looked at this book and I thought, okay, well, you don't see too many copies of this looking this great. X-Men number 13. Second appearance of Juggernaut. And it's just like, holy crap, this book's super, super clean. Juggernaut, Kane Marco, Professor Xavier's brother, arguably the second biggest nemesis that the X-Men have, next to Magneto. And so that is the collection I bought. He originally wanted 5,000. I got him to 4,000. Um, I don't think I really took a big chance on this. I think this stuff speaks for itself. I want to keep talking to you, but I have to get going because I have to eat dinner and uh, get ready for a claim sale. West Coast Avengers on Instagram, every Wednesday night, West Coast Wednesday, claim sale, auction. You can find all of the links in the description below to all of the places to buy books. Some I keep, but most I sell. Uh, please like, follow, subscribe, all that stuff. Comment below, what do you think? I mean, the chance to get all this stuff, even keeping just a little bit of it, but uh, I'm super excited. We'll see you next week, West Coast Avengers. I can't really do much now.